Pontiac Fiero Hi, thanks for checking out this how-to Fiero video. In this video, I'm converting the rear struts found on the 84 to 87 Fieros and converting them to coilovers. Some coilover write-ups I've seen online require cutting the perch off the strut, but I'm going to try out a kit sold by a company called Ground Control in which you do not cut the perch. They have a kit specifically for the Fiero and I'm anxious to try it out. I chose to go with a 350 pound spring with my kit for a firmer ride because I intend on doing a bit of racing with my car. But you can use whatever spring rate you wish is best or you can ask them for their opinion as to what you should use. I also chose to go with the Connie Special D adjustable strut for my car. These are becoming harder and harder to find so I recommend getting them soon if you want to use those. Other than that you can use any kind of strut for this kit. Unfortunately, I'm nowhere near being finished my 3800 project, so actually trying out the kit will have to wait for some time in the near future. I may end up even making a follow-up video. But check it out, and I hope you find it useful. Alright, in this video, I'm going to show you how to turn this into this. Let's get started. Alright. Now we're going to do an unboxing of our Connie Special D's. I'm kind of excited on this project. Um, so let's go ahead and uh, take a look. instructions, uh, user instructions, and our uh, adjusting knob. All right, so here we've got our ground control coil over kit. All right, this is our coilovers from uh, ground control. We've got our top hat which uh, works in conjunction with the Fierro's top hat. Uh, we've got spring. In my case I believe I did 350 pound springs because um, I wanted something a little stiffer. And then we've got our adjustable uh, spring perch. The ground control kit also comes with some vinyl stickers, some rubber rings, and an Allen wrench, as well as installation instructions. So we'll go ahead and use this as our guide and get to installing our coilovers. All right, these are the Connie Special D struts that we're gonna be using in our coilover kit. And I'm gonna kind of quickly go over what needs to be done in order to get everything fitted together. All right, so. Generally speaking, um, with this kit, we are not going to cut the perch in this kit, according to the instructions. We're going to sit our adjustable uh, spring perch on top. Um, depending on the strut you use, I mean, with this Connie Special D's, they do say you may have to shave the edge of the strut right along the lip here. Um, as you can see in a closer shot, it does have a little bit of an overhang compared to the rest of the strut, and that interferes. The spring, however, sits in there pretty good. So, this sitting on here, like so. We just have to shave off this lip here to get this to sit down on the perch, and then the spring would sit right on top. I guess if we were to sit it here, it's about what we're looking at for height. So anyway, let's go ahead and start modifying the strut to work. All right, the first thing you need to do is remove your original strut. As you can see behind me, um, my car has been sitting up for a little bit, so I've already had it out. So I can't show you how to take it out. 
Um, the best thing I can tell you is you're going to need a 24 millimeter socket, a sledgehammer, and two more bolts to remove these, these lower strut bolts because 9 out of 10 times they're going to be a pain and even when you screw the nut back on to the bolt and hammer it off you're probably going to mess up your nut or the bolt as well. So go ahead and order yours if your store's got them you can probably find them elsewhere. Um, and then also if you still have them you have these three bolts up here um, in the engine compartment. Uh, once you get the, end, the strut out, next thing to do is to uh, get a spring compression tool. If you don't have one, you can get one at your local auto parts store. Usually they load them for free or deposit. Um, so once you get that, you're ready to go. We'll start compressing this and uh, getting it apart. All right, got my spring compression tool. I'm gonna go ahead and Start hooking this up so we can compress it. Now that we have the spring compressed, we want to go ahead and remove this nut. In order to remove it, you're going to need an impact wrench. You can try and get it off with a standard wrench, but I found that uh, I couldn't do it. I needed an impact wrench. If you don't have one, you can go to your local service shop. Usually they'll zip them off for free for you. It just takes a second, and it's not too bad. All right, I've got my electric impact wrench. I've got a 22 millimeter socket needed to get this top bolt off, so let's go ahead and wrench it off. Got it off. Clear or not, these are the only pieces I need. The rest of this can be disposed of, sold, or whatever you want to do with it. All right, got my special D strut. I'm going to use a uh, grinder here to grind down the uh, little lip here, and uh, we're going to try and make it as smooth as possible. All right, just as one more visual test. This is not fitting over. We're going to have to shave this lip down even with this. And we're going to grind it without grinding on the integrity of the strut. So let's go ahead and do that. done grinding our struts uh, I took a little time to paint the edge of it I chose to go with black just because to color match this red it look off so I figured I'd just kind of make it more of a a trim color or an accent and just do it that way but that'll protect it from rusting and kind of makes it look a little bit nicer all right first thing we're gonna install our two rubber bands. Each strut gets two bands and we're going to put them roughly about midway down the strut. There's one. There's two. 
two. Now we're going to install our adjustable spring perch. And rubber bands make it a snug fit so it won't bounce and clap around. to set our spring on. We're going to put our aluminum top hat on. It needs to seat snugly in spring. Uh, this plastic washer came with the Connie kit. Sit that in there. Now we're going to move over to our Fiero components. Now We've got this, which I'm not exactly sure if uh, we need it or not because it just slides right through, but I'm going to put it on just in case. Maybe at some point later I'll make an edit if I find that it's not necessary, but at this point I'll assume it is. So sit this on. There we are. And our washer. And then I'm going to bring this up. Just to hold it together, I'm going to screw it down. Finally, we got our nut, which is a 22 millimeter. And there we have it.